Good morning everybody and welcome to the first episode of Southern Fish. Well, it is about seven o'clock out here on the Guadalupe. I'm just gonna float down a little ways, see if I can't catch some bass. Not trying to do anything crazy today, no challenges, no, no nothing like that, just, just fishing. See if we can't get some two, three pounders, maybe even bigger if we can, I don't know. I haven't seen many bigger than that here, but the water's real clear, it's beautiful, and see if we can't catch some bass. Okay, so I just cast twice off camera. Got two bites, and look what they did to my freaking crawfish. That's toast. Look out, they're chasing bait over there now. Oh my gosh, of course they are. Also, while we're retying, I guess I'll show you what I'm using. This is a Zoom Speed Craw. Uh, I think it's Green Pumpkin Gold? Green Pumpkin Magic, which is basically just gold flex. And then I've just got a little two watt hook, Texas rigged, the 15 pound leader to 30 pound braid, I think. And the only reason I have a leader is because it's so clear here. And if I didn't, and I just went straight braid to the hook, I would not catch a single fish. It's ridiculous. So that's why I got a leader. I don't know if I would recommend that all the time. If it's not necessary, don't use it, but sometimes you got to. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh man. <laughs> right on the wall. That's a good first fish for the day. No, don't go in there. Actually, it's not that great, but it's not bad. It's taking me over here for some reason. Come here, dude. Boat flip. Hello. Oh, you swallowed that. Oh man. Yeah, you got that good in you, dude. Well, there's my first fish of the day. Not a bad little LMB. Well, not bad little fish. Probably about a pound and a half, but we're after much bigger. He gone. All right, on the board. Alright, if I can't catch a fish in the next, these next few little spots, then, man, if I can't catch one there, there, or on the back side of that, well, for one, I'm not doing a very good job of fishing, <laughs> and two, I might call it a day. Oh, I missed him. That was a good one. Dang, I thought he had it. All right, guys, well, I got this guy off camera, but uh, well, I barely got him. Uh, what happened was, well, you remember this spot right here? This is a little guy, but not too bad. Um, so this spot right here, is where I got those two bites earlier, but then I stopped, or he hit it, I missed him, 
then I left and now I came back and <clears throat> there he was, a little guy. But that's third for the day, so, oh, not complaining. I'll take anything at this point. But again, on that crop, I don't know why they love it, but man, they do. Well, uh, it's been kind of a slow day, honestly. I mean, I've been here for probably two, uh, two and a half hours, maybe. Uh, probably two and a half, maybe three. Yeah, I don't know what time it is, but uh, it's been a little slow. I only caught three so far. I mean, I'm still gonna fish, but if you haven't noticed, I'm I'm headed back. Oh, holy, dude, the amount of large bass. I mean, not large, big bass. There's another three pounder sitting over here. Right as I turn my camera off, there's just a little guy right here. The little ones aren't. <laughs> nearly as smart I might be able to get this one yep got him <laughs> ah, number four. Oh god this guy's chunky dude open your mouth Little bitty guy, but he's a little chunky. He's got a belly. <laughs> All right, see you, dude. All right, let's move on down. To the final spot. Then I gotta haul this bad boy up the hill. That's gonna be all kinds of fun. God, there's so many turtles. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's five, six. There's six turtles within like all 20 feet of each other. Munching. That looks like a good spot right there. I want one more. I don't care how big. I'll catch one more before we go. That's the that's the new new goal mini challenge. One more fish. Well, looks good, but. It ain't good. Well, looks good, but it ain't good. So, it's all moving. Oh, I already see a bass. I'm sure he sees me too, because that's how they all are. It's like they see you and then they forget. Or they just are so worried about that that they don't pay attention to the bait that's right in front of their face. And I guess that makes sense, but there we go. Got him. You let him take it a second, and then you hook him. 
Number 05. This might be a Guadalupe. That right there is the fifth fish of the day. Well, the smallest one, probably. But hey, I'm not complaining. Well, guys, I mean, I wouldn't call that a bad day, but it wasn't that great either. I mean, I caught five. That's that's pretty good for three and a half hours or however long I was out there fishing, but. But, I mean, I don't know. I was hoping to get some more quality fish, I guess. I didn't catch anything over one and a half pounds probably. That first one was probably the best. And then that smallmouth was pretty good for a smallmouth. But, I mean, nothing nothing big. They're, I mean, I saw a lot of big ones. And I know they're in there. I've caught them before. But it's just tough. And it's so hot and clear. I need to come back when in the fall, spring, when it's a lot better. But I'm going to try to get this video edited and put up by the end of the week probably and then next weekend I'm going to Austin and so hopefully that'll be a good video for y'all and I can get that done by the next week but uh, that is all I got for y'all today I will talk to y'all later